when you buy this multimeter, well, you get a multimeter itself, a data logger, K type thermocouple, and quite nice case. Now, these probes are actually good quality. And right now, I want to use continuity test and see latching and it could be better it's okay but yeah it, it could be better now obviously you can measure AC voltage with it so it shows 227 AC you can check uh, frequency, so that is correct. Uh, we have in Europe 50 Hertz. But when I disconnect the leads, it takes quite long time to refresh malware. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, you, you can check uh, obviously DC voltage. So good fast auto raging right now i'm checking relay resistance basically coil resistance so yeah all good now i want to test this thermocouple and it kind of works it's okay but then uh, again this model specifically designed for HVAC guys so basically guys who who, who work on, on conditioners and this thermocouple it will break okay these tiny little wires it works it shows correct temperature but this thermocouple will eventually break now I want to measure how much current required for this PLC to power it. We need 24 volts DC. I just want to see how much current it takes. Now there is no security when the probe is in voltage mode. There is no fail safe. But yeah, it's, it's normal, not actually an issue. So I selected micro M, so it's over limit. Now I'm selecting milliamp, so it shows 64.9. My fluke multimeter shows 64.5. 60, <laughs> Obviously you can measure capacitance and uh, yeah quite quite fast and accurately now again latching could be better backlight nice no no issue with that uh, i will compare that to my fluke multimeter same you know look more uh, 70b plus has a little bit bolder bigger screen and, and bigger numbers but yeah it's it's still okay now my oscilloscope has probe uh, testing or calibrating feature it sends one kilohertz signal so i'm checking out with this unity multimeter and i don't know why but uh, you know hertz selected frequency is selected auto ranging selected and it doesn't show anything it shows like 50 hertz uh, now zero hertz so i use same probes on my fluke uh, multimeter
and as you can see it shows one kilohertz no issue so I don't know what's going on with this unity multimeter probes just uh, for comparison this is fluke 7 TB plus thermocouple so as you can see it more robust and this is just a tiny wires but it works it works now one thing I like about this multimeter is data logging feature and it's quite easy to use you just connect that connect on the other end to PC download software you enter in Google uh, you know just model and there you don't have to register just straightforward now the software itself a little bit clunky you can in option select sample points or or infinitive infinite points what I don't like uh, it doesn't have start stop data logging feature there is no min max uh, you know there is no set points there is no threshold so threshold but yeah you can you can pr print uh, results you can make pdf let's say you have a situation where you have some sort of power dropping and you can make this data logging feature very fast i mean like one millisecond fast so you can capture quite fast signals with it uh, but yeah it lacks uh, it lacks basic features like trigger let's say if this is reached stop recording or, or something like that it, it doesn't have that and uh, there is no time base uh, scale so when you have a graph you have let's say 50 points measured uh, you can kind of use uh, left mouse click uh, double clip click to the point you zoom in double click again you zoom out but it could be way better just to have a few buttons you know zoom in zoom out but yeah it's it's a tool it's a usable tool it's quite useful and overall this multimeter yeah it's for what for 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 the price yeah it's great totally recommended